Professional photographers know that when shooting macro images, depth of field can prove a real issue. And more often than not, you may end up with an image where the subject isn't 100% sharp. Fear not though, as the solution is to employ some science and the powerful technology of Affinity Photo's focus merging feature. Focus merging is also known as focus stacking and many cameras now offer a feature to shoot a sequence of images where the focus point differs slightly between files so that every part of the frame is captured in focus. If your camera doesn't have this feature, you can still achieve this by manually refocusing between exposures, but it's much easier to do with Affinity Photos technology. Once you've shot your image sequence, you can download the photos to the computer and let Affinity do all the hard work. Before you get going, place all of the images you'd like to merge into one folder and name it something familiar like Focus Merge. With the Affinity Photo software up and running, the first step is to with the Affinity Photo software open, the first step is to select the images you'd like to merge together. Head to the top of the interface and select File, and then scroll down to New Focus Merge. When the dialog box appears, click on the Add option and select the files you want to merge before hitting OK. Affinity Photo will work its magic and merge the files together into one frame. This final frame may not be the perfect result that you want, however, so it's worth examining the photo to see if there are any areas of out-of-focus blur on the image. You can zoom in by pressing Ctrl and Plus to get a better view. You'll see all the files that have been merged together listed in the Sources panel. If you see an area that needs fixing, you can select the Clone tool from the toolbar. The keyboard shortcut for this is S. Head back to the Sources panel and click on the Toggle Source Preview icon which is identified by an eye. You can then click on the file and brush over the area you want to change using the mouse. You can change the size of the clone tool with the square bracket keys. Once you're happy with your changes, click back on the toggle preview button and then you can make any additional changes you want to make. For example, let's add an adjustment layer. Head up to layer, scroll down to new adjustment layer and let's add a little bit of saturation via the HSL adjustment layer. Okay, I'm gonna drag this slider to the right just to pump up the saturation. So you're nearly there. All you need to do now is click File, scroll down to Export, and you can save the finished Focus Merge file as a JPEG, TIFF, or any other file format that you choose. Thanks for watching, have fun with your Focus Merging images, and I'll see you next time.